Well, the day has finally come for Ivanya and me to join Ocean Ramsey and her amazing team at One Ocean Diving and Research for a shark conservation experience we'll never forget. Oh, good morning. Welcome hey, to Ocean. One Ocean. Hey. Wow, Great we're to so excited you. to be here. Thank I'm you. I'm so excited yes. to meet you guys. This Welcome is on board. the amazing Ivanya. Aloha. Good morning. Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii. <laughs> you guys so excited to go out and swim with sharks? Yeah. So excited. It's going to awesome. be terrific. So we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, shark research today. We're going to head out about three miles offshore to a location where sharks frequently congregate. Ocean and Juan utilize the 40-minute ride out to the swimming location as a mobile classroom to educate their guests on shark behavior. So these are sandbars in Galapagos. The sandbars are about four to six feet in length. They have a beautiful white French tip here. And then the Galapagos are six to 12 feet in length. They have a larger thoracic body cavity with the sandbars. It's kind of like they're on caffeine. They tend to be in <laughs> higher numbers in the morning. In addition to prepping us on what to expect, Ocean also illustrates the impact humans have had on shark populations worldwide. Do you know why shark populations are, are so severely declined? Why it's so rare to see any of these, or even the tiger shark or the scallop tamarind? Is it because of like shark finning and hunting? Yeah, I love that you know that. It, it's really sad that they're just being killed mostly just for their fins. And that's part of our research is actually population studies. We're just kind of seeing how given seasons and depth profiles and over time what's happening to our populations. Any activity that includes encounters with wild animals requires rules that will keep everyone safe. So I'm gonna kind of coach you on how to be a shark, how to be your best predator, so that these guys treat you a little bit more like a predator. And so the number one most important thing for you to do is to constantly look around. And this is not just for safety, because they will respect you a little bit more if you're constantly looking around, right? Not giving your back to any of them. Um, but also you'll see more sharks. Today you're gonna modify your behavior and adapt to them in their environment. It's their ocean, their home, we play by their rules. The conditions are perfect as we approach the site. The water is clear, and we start spotting sharks in the area before we even get in. Savanya, so, on a scale of one to 10, what's your excitement level? 30. 30? <laughs> I wasn't even up to 30. I love oh, that. I'm three times more excited. <laughs> There's one swimming. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of them down there. Oh, my God, he's yeah, right there! Right there. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't wait to jump in. Ocean makes her way in first to assess the situation. Now, we don't want to make any large splashes, so when she's ready, Ivanya will calmly climb down the ladder and drift over to join Ocean. Well, we've got sharks, so uh, looking good so far. We'll see you down there. Upon my first glimpse, I instantly see schooling sharks about 30 feet below us. They're calm, graceful, and simply mesmerizing. Because we are in the open ocean, we'll utilize safety lines attached to the boat. That way, we don't have to kick our fins or worry about separating. After a few minutes of getting comfortable with the setup, Ocean invites us to dive down with her to get a little closer. So let's go down, straight down, and we'll do a count and see how many that we count at the same time. Okay, ready? Copy that. 